today is the day we finish my son Rocky's toddler room, which, wow, it is just crazy. I cannot believe he is almost three years old. I know some people do this way before, some people do this way after, but he turns three August 31st, and lately he's been climbing out of his crib saying he wants a big boy bed, and so we are doing it. We are doing the damn thing, you guys. The room is kind of in an in-between stage right now. I already put new wallpaper up, I painted his dresser black, and I got a new rug. But I will be sharing with you guys basically everything else, the fun stuff. I know like that kind of stuff can be kind of boring, so I saved just like the decorating and the reasons behind things we're doing and just pulling it all together so that one, it's a super cute and functional space for my son, but two, it's effective and it works and it keeps him in his room. I am also going to be sharing our entire experience of transitioning him from a crib to a bed at the end of this video once the room is all set up, so stay tuned till then. I'm hoping everything will go smoothly so I can share some tips and tricks and just things that I've done to like kind of keep him safe. So. We're gonna flash back to this morning when we put together Rocky's bed and his nightstand. And then from there, we will go on to all of the fun stuff, the decorating and making this room complete. I'm really excited to finish it and I'm so excited to be sharing with you guys too. You gotta find a different hole, okay? These ones are too high for Rocky, okay? There, you gotta hold this. Hold that for Dada. That's what Dada's taking out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's all happy to be in there. Good? Good. I'm wondering if we should just put that in his closet. And like... Yeah. No, you're, you, you're too big now. Who's it going to be for? Echo already has hers. Are you, if you have a new brother or sister, they can use it? Yeah, you can share with them? Me or sit. This is your old bed. This is your old bed. Oh, that's not my old bed. Why is it in my closet, Mom? Let's move on to the bed. Let's get this made. So this right here is a crib bumper. I wanted to make sure he wasn't going to fall off, so I have it against the wall, and then I'm gonna put this bumper right here. Pretty self-explanatory. This is his actual duvet, and these are his like crib sheets, and then this is the duvet set and cover that I went with. This one is from H&M. I loved that it was like a muslin material, and I actually already had this blanket from H&M, so hopefully all these like colors kind of go together. This is gonna be covered, but these are from Target and they're just super soft like jersey sheets. And then I ended up getting him two like little throw pillows. Um, these were labeled as natural and they look kind of taupe to me. I was hoping they'd be a little bit more tan. So hopefully all this like can pull together okay. But let's let's make his bed. Um, how crazy. This is the first time I am ever making my son's bed. What the heck? Guys, this is aging him for me. It is so sad, but so fun.
Next I have these little leather poles to switch out the knobs here. We have this leather poof that kind of has a similar detail there. So I thought that would be cute to just like kind of, I don't know, spruce these up a little bit. So let's do some YouTube magic and get that done real quick. My silly self only ordered six. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to order some more and we'll have to continue this later, but I'm not really sure which side I actually prefer. I'm gonna look at it for a little bit and see what I like, but I do think they both are super cute. Also, yeah, I forgot to paint that one black. Something I really want Rocky's room to be is accessible to him, so I want everything kind of low. So his hat rack that I hung when he was a baby, I would love to move down here so that way he can grab that hat if he'd like. It's kind of the same thing as to why I switched out his bookshelf for this one. This one was usually in our playroom, but I just want him to be able to come over, grab his book. We can go lay on his pad, read his book, get ready for bed. Yeah, I just really want everything to be very toddler-esque. just trying to sit. Let's move to safety things. So the first thing that I already mentioned is the like bed bumper. Uh, my friend has a version of this for her daughter and I thought it was genius. Since his bed is against the wall, we only needed one, but this is like a like memory foam pad that I believe goes under his sheet and it keeps him from rolling over. Um, it comes with like a washable cover, which is super nice. Um, oh, and it seems like it's like waterproof. It's like weird material. But yeah, I'm gonna shove that under his sheet and make it so he is safe when it comes to falling off. If he does roll off the bed, our rooms are carpeted and this is a pretty thick rug, so I think he'll be okay. And it's like not too high, but I of course would like want to prevent that if I can. So hopefully this thing works. was so much easier than I thought it was gonna be. It's a lot less noticeable than I thought it was gonna be. I mean, clearly there's like a lump right here, but hopefully that helps just kind of keep him nice and cozy and tucked into his bed. Rocky is currently taking his last nap in a crib. He's in Echo's crib um, because I wanted to finish the room while he was sleeping, but he sleeps kind of crazily. That's why we are doing the bumper. Also, Echo sleeps so much better and she's smaller in a pack in place so she's taking her nap in our room, which also gives us good practice because we're going to Cabo soon and she'll be sleeping in a pack and play at my parents' house. But anyways, let's move on to the next safety thing um, and that is the door situation. So we are gonna put a child lock on the door because we don't want him to be unsafe. We have a two story. We do not have a gate at the top of our stairs because where our like rail ends and where our stair ends does not line up. And so if we put a gate, it's like at an angle. And I feel like if they just lean on it, it's gonna fall. It just like terrifies me. So we always keep an eye on them, but they've both always been in a crib throughout the night. So we haven't had to worry about the night. So I found this thing on Amazon. I'll show you guys here in a second. We're gonna do that um, to the inside of his door. And then also I hung his camera here and I am getting a cord cover to cover this situation because I know that's a hazard too. So this is the situation we are using. I saw a review that said to flip it up because if they figure out how to like unlatch it here, kids always pull the handle down 
not up, so I'm gonna flip it. But this comes with like three of these, so if they lose the adhesive, you have like two more. I have also heard a lot of people like switch the handle on their door to like make the lock on the outside. And so if this doesn't work, we will probably do that. But I'm really hoping this solution works. I want him to be able to get used to using the door properly, knowing like when it's time to come out. He is potty trained and he is potty trained through the night. But he does just tell us when he has to go pee. He always just like yells out pee and we can hear him through the monitor. Uh, but eventually it would be super nice for him to know like how to go do that himself and come back. Um, we do use a hatch sound machine at night and we have it on red, a red light while he's sleeping. And when it's time to wake up, we turn it on a green light. And he's really good about listening and like waiting until the green light comes on to like cry, try and climb out, like do anything. So I'm hoping eventually we won't need the lock, but until then, this keeps me like at ease, helps with anxiety, helps keep him safe. So let's, let's try and lock his room. That was quite literally the easiest installation. You literally just take off the adhesive and put it on. But yeah, look, you just lift it, you squeeze the sides, lift it up, and then the door goes up, but you can't push it down. Super simple solution. So the last things that I need to do for the space is like all the finishing touches of like the decor. But because he's new to being free in his room, I don't want there to be like a ton of things that he can go and mess around with, anything that can like harm him or distract him or whatever. So I don't think I'm gonna put anything else like on the dresser or the nightstand, at least while he is sleeping in here and until he gets the hang of it. I just don't want any hazards, if that makes sense. But the one thing I do want to add is something above his bed. And I know it's very basic, but I wanna put like a name sign above his head, like one of those like canvas ones with like the black lettering that just says like Rocky Troy. I really like just calm neutral spaces if you guys can't tell. And so I think that would be something that would add like a lot to the wall, but like keep it just very neutral. So I unfortunately don't have that already. So I'm I'm going to need to order something. I think I'm gonna wait to show the entire room like collectively until that name sign comes in just to give you guys the full effect and I will share where every little detail is from as well as leave links down below. But let's chat about my plans with him sleeping in here, transitioning out of a crib into a toddler bed, twin bed, um, and just some things that I'm hoping will help us. And then like I said, I'll give an update in a few days. First of all, he is so stoked about this room. We just had him take a nap in his sister's room and he was like, no, big night, big bed. But I really wanted to finish this room and we are going to a monster truck event tonight. And it is until 8 p.m. and the kids are usually in bed between like 6.30 and 7. So it's gonna be a late night and I really needed him to take a nap and I feel like the first nap in a bed like this is probably not gonna go super well. Well, actually I know that because we had him try with the mattress on the floor and it did not go well. So he's taking a nap there, but tonight is his first night in his big boy bed and we are just deciding to tackle it because we just gotta do it. And so my point is, is we've really hyped up this room and he's so excited about it. Um, we've been talking about it and preparing him for quite a while now and I think that is gonna be extremely beneficial. I'm hoping that this little thing will help him. He can clearly climb over it. But with that and the little like door stopper, I'm hoping it will keep him in the room. Um, I've had a few friends already do this and they say that the kids end up like by the door a ton. Sometimes they'll fall asleep there, so I'm kind of anticipating that. But we're gonna do our best to do this as gently as possible, but also get it done so we don't drag it out. Something else that I did that was like kind of fun and special for him was I got him these shirts. Um, my son is obsessed with Paw Patrol and specifically Rocky, which is funny because his name is Rocky. He also loves trash trucks and we didn't know that the Rocky in Paw Patrol was the recycling truck. So it's just such a funny co uh, coincidence, but I got him this shirt so he could sleep in it. He actually does have some experience with like nightmares and night terrors too. If we put on like anything scary, he wakes up in the middle of the night. And so I'm hoping that this will help him just like stay calm and help protect him and keep him safe. And so we have this one, and then when this one is dirty, it came in a four pack. So we have Rebel, we have Chase, 
and we have Marshall. <laughs> These are definitely the most obnoxious things I've ever purchased for my kid, but he is literally going to be so stoked about it. And yeah, this is his like little surprise. I told him he has a surprise when it's time for bed. Um, I've heard people also try not to like emphasize like you have to stay in your bed. You cannot get out. And so I'm not really going to say that. I'm just going to tell him to wait in his room until the green light comes on. That's what we usually tell him when he sleeps in his crib and like i said we have a hatch sound machine it's actually in the room with him while he's napping but we keep it on like a low light of red while he's taking a nap and then it's on like a rain noise and when it's time for him to wake up we switch it to a bird noise with the green light rocky's catchphrase is green means go so that really resonates with him and it helps him a ton he's super patient and will wait until happens and so we're gonna do the same in the room and i'm really hoping it works out. Um, I'm really hoping that he's not too overtired tonight since we're gonna be out later. Um, overtired does not mean they're gonna fall asleep easily. Usually it like is the opposite. So I'm really just hoping it'll be good um, and it'll just be a smooth night. But like I said, I will update you guys how it's been um, as well as like the final finished product of this room um, once we get in the sign and we've had a few days under our belt um, of him sleeping in his big boy bed. I literally have just been staring in this room and it's just so crazy. I cannot believe this is our reality. I know this is so dumb, but like it's not. My kid is so old now, crazy. All right, you guys, the room is complete. The last few things came in finally, and it's actually been like three weeks, I think, since we did this like toddler room transition. This room has been so, so good for Rocky. He is actually obsessed with his bed. He calls it his new bed, his big bed, and he loves sleeping in it. And he just loves this room. I feel like this is such a calm and like welcoming space for him, and it's very clear in the way that he has been sleeping, which I will share in a bit but it is just everything that I hoped for and I'm so, so happy with how it turned out. The wallpaper, as you guys can see behind, I actually got the pleasure of working with the company Rocky Mountain Decals, which it's so cool that the name Rocky is like also in the company name, but they let me help like co-design um, a print for his space and it's called Rocky Trail, which I think is so freaking cute. And it is just such a beautiful statement. It's the first wall you see as you come into the room and it's little cactuses and suns, just like all the things that make me feel like Rocky. Rocky has always been my little sunshine boy. Um, the color yellow and like rust, I really like associated with him and it just makes me think of him. So of course I had to like include a little sun in there and it's just so neutral and calm and minimal but like still a design and that's exactly what i was going for so i'm really obsessed with it if you guys want uh, a discount code i will leave a link down below as well as the code for you but yes i'm just so excited this is also the company that i used for echo's room so it was really cool to like use it there and then get to like work with them with like creating a print here so I think that is why this room is like extra special to me, but I'm obsessed with it. I think it is so cute. The dresser, like I had mentioned, we painted black. It's the same dresser that he had from his nursery. And then we just swapped out the knobs for a little leather pole. Um, it really just kind of like elevated the look of it without being too expensive. And it just kind of changed it up. I really am digging black in this room. I feel like Nathaniel really likes black. And so it's kind of making me Think of Rocky as like a grown boy, I can't say man, um, just adding like hints of black. And then of course, you know, I love my neutrals. I love calm feeling spaces. And so the rest of the space is very like cream, wood, that kind of thing. The leather poles on the dresser also match the little leather poof that we have on the floor. And that is where we read to Rocky. So I really wanted this room to be extremely functional and calm. Um, we don't play in here. We just come in here to like read and sleep. And I do think that has had a huge benefit on um, his progress with sleeping, which again, I'll go into in a minute. The bed that we got is just from Ikea. I think it was like $50. We tried to just not spend a ton. Bookshelf we got um, was from the playroom downstairs. He used to have a shelf one, but now that he can get out of his room, I didn't want anything that could potentially fall on him. So this little Montessori shelf is literally perfect. The nightstand we got from Target, and then we just hung up some things above his room um i went with a name sign i know that's very basic of me but i love it i think it's cute and it adds like his own personal touch 
And then this company, Amani Collective, is where I got this little banner here, as well as the You Are My Sunshine above his hat. Um, I love that company. Um, everything is made in Kenya and they sign the pieces that they have made and it's a small shop so I was super stoked to like support that again. And then the bunting is from Gather which is also where the um, pad is, the little thing that we read on. And then we also swapped out his rug because the rug that I got for his nursery was so itchy and it shedded so much that we actually, for the entire time that it was in here, which was like two and a half years, we didn't go on the rug. Like if we changed them, we would go on the carpet and having this just like cozy rug that we can all just be on has been so nice. This one in particular is from All Modern and it was worth every penny, although it wasn't crazy expensive too, which I love. And like I mentioned, the last little corner is his little hat corner with the You Are My Sunshine above it. Um, I lowered this so that way he can go and grab a hat and it just kind of makes everything more functional. Like I said, I really wanted this space to work for him and just benefit him and be a calm and inviting space, which let's talk about how he's been sleeping because I feel like that's exactly what it became. Um, Rocky will be three August 31st. I think I mentioned that already, but he is like 33 months old or so. So he definitely is older from like what I could see on the internet of when people transition him, but I feel like it was the perfect time to transition him into a toddler bed. With his crib, he never really tried to climb out. Um, for a long time, he had a sleep sack, so that kind of like prevented him from doing it. But my boy is also a rule follower and he always knew to wait for us. And so it wasn't really an issue until it became an issue. And then he did climb out. And at that point we asked him like, do you want a big boy bed? And he, in the past, if we had asked him, he'd say, no, I want my crib. And that was the first time he said he wanted a toddler bed. So we're like, okay, let's do it. And it has worked so well. Um, night one, I wrote some notes for you guys because it's been a little bit. But night one, he did amazing. He didn't get out at all. He woke up an hour before we get him and he just waited patiently like he normally does. It's not here right now because um, he's actually at my mom's and he's taking a nap there. So we brought it, but his sound machine is the hatch sound machine. And while he sleeps, we put it on a low light of red. And then when it's time for him to wake up, we put it on green. Green means go. He loves Rocky from Paw Patrol. And so it works so well for us. And he will not get out of bed until he likes sees the green light. He actually still waits for us when he sees the green light. He like hides underneath his pillow and waits for us to come in so he can scare us. Uh, but yeah, he's definitely a rule follower, but I swear that helps so, so much. Night two scared me because he got a stomach bug and he started throwing up by 9 p.m. And we were like, no, like he slept so good the first night. Like this is gonna ruin everything. And despite throwing up multiple times throughout the night, he didn't get up at all. Um, and he stayed in his bed and he did amazing. Both naps for those first two days went super well as well. He didn't get out. Um, I think a lot of that can be contributed to the fact that there's like no toys in here. Um, there's nothing really like exciting for him to do in this room besides like sleep. And so I think that is something that helps. Although I understand everyone's not like as lucky to have a space outside of uh, their kids bedrooms to have toys so if that's the case maybe you even move your toys like into the closet or i don't know if that would really even be a factor for your kids but i do think that has helped rocky basically it has been smooth sailing since we did have like one morning i think a week into it where he was crying at like six and he tried to open the door um, we do have it child locked and at that point he hadn't figured out how to do it but um, a couple days later, my mom was over looking at the room and she opened the door in front of him and he like watched it and he was like, yep, and now he knows how to open it. But we also did explain to him that the lock is on there to like keep him safe. And again, he's like really good with like words and understanding like why we do things. So I think that also helped him not try and get out, but he has tried opening the door a couple times, but he doesn't leave the room. Um, and he'll just like go back in there. But if he needs something, he will yell for us. He will tell us like water or pee pee or whatever. And he just kind of waits for us to come in. So really him trying to escape his room has not been a thing. I thought for sure he would be sleeping by the door for like a week straight, but he really surprised us with it. And I'm really, really happy that it's been a good experience for all of us. But yeah, that is basically it. I guess I just want to encourage you guys that this transition doesn't need to be as hard 
as it sounds. I feel like every transition we have gone through with our kids, it sounds so daunting, but once we get through it, we're always like, okay, that wasn't that bad. And we are just like one step closer to just having like a big boy. Like now when we go on trips, like he doesn't need a crib, like he can sleep in the bed with us or the bed beside us. And that like, for some reason is so freeing. It's like one extra, like huge thing we have to worry about. And yeah, it's just crazy. We're just knocking down milestones or understanding how to do them. And our kids are growing up. It's so insane. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any tips for sleeping with toddlers, leave them down below so it can be like kind of a hub for anyone who has questions. And I'll try my best to answer anything if I have an answer to it. But yeah, I hope you guys love the space. If you are a beige hater, it's okay. This is our space and we love it so much. So also if you are a first time viewer, I should have said this at the beginning, but I do vlog more than I do any sort of videos. I share my day to day life as a stay at home mom. So if that is something you would enjoy, don't forget to subscribe and watch all my vlogs. So yeah, love you guys. Thanks for being here. Bye.